This training video is about understanding eccentrics on vibratory pile drivers. Brought to you by PECO and John White and Vinnie DeFabio. PECO is a member of the Teamsters Union and is working in conjunction with the Northwest Carpenters Institute of Washington to help pre-apprentices learn more about pile driving equipment. One of the questions we get asked a lot is, what is behind the round circles on that vibrating machine? The round circles are called bearing covers, and behind those covers are bearings and then eccentrics. Let's look at common things that vibrate. A rotating unbalanced wheel is what makes a phone vibrate. Let's open up a cell phone and take a look at this unbalanced wheel. As you can see here, it's a tiny eccentric turned by a tiny electric motor. Even though this eccentric is tiny, it can deliver a lot of force when it is rotated really fast. And as you can see here, it is spinning like a top. A single rotating eccentric is the heart of a massage vibrator, as you can see here. It is tiny but powerful. Scaling up to larger eccentrics can be used for many things, including soil compactors. A simple soil compactor is just one eccentric inside of a gearbox mounted on rubbers and is used to vibrate and compact soil. A single eccentric can do a lot, but it does have its problems. The main problem is it wobbles and sends energy in all directions. A single rotating eccentric sends forces in all directions, which is ideal for a soil compactor. However, these wild sideways forces make a compactor not the greatest tool for driving piles. Using just one eccentric would not work on a vibratory pile driver because we only want the forces to go up and down, not sideways. To control the vibration, we add a gear to the eccentric and then we bring in another eccentric and pair the two together and time them with these gears. Gear timing two eccentrics allows us to control the direction of the vibration. Here are two timed eccentrics facing downward, so the force is downward. As they rotate, they will come together and cancel out each other's forces, thus eliminating sideways vibration. As the eccentrics continue to rotate, they join together to force the gearbox upward. As they continue to rotate, they will throw themselves away from each other, which cancels out sideways vibration again. And as they continue to turn, they will come together again and force the gearbox downwards. So this is how these two eccentrics work. They are gear timed and they cancel out all sideways forces and only provide up and down motion. This is commonly called the four strokes of a vibratory pile driver extractor, meaning down, cancel, up, cancel. Here is an excellent animation of two eccentrics being turned by a hydraulic motor and a motor gear. In the closing of this video, it is important to note that Vibros can come with two eccentrics, four eccentrics, six eccentrics, or more, as long as they are always paired. Now that we understand how paired eccentrics work in a vibratory pile driver, our next chapter is going to cover eccentric moment, which is the measurement of the force of the eccentric. If you enjoyed this video, you can get the training videos by going to our website, www dot antiusa.com. My name is John White. You're free to call me anytime 206-495-7030. And if you have any suggestions on videos that we should make regarding pile driving equipment, please email me at forestledge at gmail.com. Thank you.